Welcome to Connect. We are incredibly proud to introduce Quest 3, the first mainstream mixed reality headset. Quest 3 is it's the most powerful headset that we have ever shipped, and it allows you to blend the physical and digital worlds together. You can navigate it with our, just your hands if you want, and the hand tracking is getting really good, um, or with these brand new precision controllers that we've designed for games or work or things that you, where you want some extra precision. And, you know, of course, it's completely standalone. No wires, no battery pack, you know, nothing like that that's going to break your, your sense of presence. So when you put on Quest 3, uh, you see the physical room around you. Only now it is a canvas that you can bring your digital objects into the world. You know, Quest 3, it, it, it understands your space so you can play with the world around you. You can solve Lego puzzles, or you can build your own creations on any flat surface in your room. You can play games like BAM with your friends sitting around a table, whether you're physically right there together, or even if they're far away. You know, people love working out in Quest. But now, if you're doing a body combat workout, the targets are going to come at you in your physical room, whether you're in your living room or if you're, you're, uh, you're in your home gym, you're be able to look around and see the room around you, so you're going to be a lot more comfortable you know, swinging your arms and moving your body. Now, these experiences are possible because Quest 3 shows your physical space with 10 times more pixels than what we had on Quest 2. And it automatically maps the space that you're in using two dedicated color camera sensors and a depth sensor which makes it so that if you, you know, pick up a digital ball and throw it at the physical wall, it'll bounce off it. Or now, this also means that you're going to be able to take a big virtual screen and just drop it wherever you are, and it'll show up in your physical room. And, and this is going to unlock a lot of awesome experiences for hanging out with people, watching content, you know, even if they're not there with you. Now, one thing that I'm, I'm pretty excited to share today is that X Cl Xbox Cloud Gaming is coming to Quest in December. <laughs> and next year, uh, we're launching something that we call Augments, which are basically persistent, spatially anchored digital objects that you can interact with. So you, know, you can put a frame on your wall with photos and videos from Facebook and Instagram. Um, you can put a digital portal next to your physical workout gear, so every time you walk by it, you can easily jump into a supernatural workout. It is the most powerful headset yet with the next generation processor, better displays and optics, it's 40% thinner, a lot more comfortable, and it comes with the great new precision controllers or the awesome hand tracking that has just gotten a lot better. You know, end to end, we have designed this thing and optimized it, the hardware stack, the software stack, so it can deliver amazing mixed reality and the world's best immersive content library. So there it is. Yeah. All right, Quest 3, it is shipping on August 10th. You can order it today for $499. So we are building a platform for creating AIs that can help you get things done or just have fun. Um, and you know the way this is going to work is there, People are going to be able to interact with these AIs across the whole meta universe of products. So, you know, of course, you'll be able to chat with them in WhatsApp and Messenger and Instagram Direct. But beyond that, they're going to have profiles in Instagram and Facebook, and you'll be able to interact with them. And eventually, they're going to be embodied as avatars and live and be able to interact with them in the metaverse too. And we're going to open this platform up for developers and more use cases soon. I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, what all of you build. But even before that, um, we have been creating a bunch of AIs ourselves, and we're going to start rolling these out in beta um, today and, and ramping that a bit over the next couple of days. Um, so let's meet some of them. All right, first up, we got Meta AI. Meta AI is it's your, your basic assistant, right? That you can that you can talk to like a person, right? You can you can message Meta AI and 
any of the messaging apps, WhatsApp, Messenger, Instagram, Direct. Um, soon you're gonna be able to message it in Quest 3, and it's gonna help you, you know, answer you know, your basic questions or requests. Um, let's check this out. So let's say you're, you're planning dinner. Um, you got Max the sous chef, um, who can help you come up with a recipe and uh, help you come up with ideas. You know, so if you wanna find a way to sneak some broccoli into your kid's dinner, Max has got you. you know, let's say you add too much salt to the recipe, you can help you balance it out. All right, or let's say you know, you're writing something like a, a keynote and you're not really sure where to get started. You can ask Lily, um, or personal editor AI, who can help you brainstorm and share tips, or you can give her a bunch of the text that you've, that you've written and she can help you edit it and make it better. Or maybe you're traveling and you're trying to plan a road trip with your kids. Um, you've got Lorena, who's gonna be able to help you find the best barbecue uh, on the road trip or find a good national park or beautiful spot to, to take the kids. Let's say you wanna play a role-playing game. Well, now you can just drop the, the dungeon master into one of your chats, and uh, let's check this guy out. Let's get medieval, player. I mean, who hasn't wanted to play a text, you know, adventure game with Snoop Dogg? Um, we've, we're also very focused on, um, on giving all of you the ability to build AIs too. Um, so we've been creating something that we call AI Studio. And it is a platform for building um, these kind of AIs. And we're starting by opening up the API for integrating into our messaging apps to start. And that's gonna open in the coming weeks. We are also building a sandbox so that you know, people who don't code can also train AIs like this, and we're working on that and iterating on it, and we hope to have that out sometime early next year. And we're also working on bringing all of this uh, to the metaverse too, where you're gonna be able to have these embodied, these AIs will be able to be embodied as avatars. Um, you'll be able to make them as NPCs in the different games and experiences that you build and all of the different horizon worlds, and I think that that's gonna be really neat. So that brings me to the last thing that I wanna show you today, which is the next generation of Ray-Ban Meta smart glasses. <laughs> now these are designed um, so you can stay in the moment and stay connected without having to take your phone out. You can capture what's going on around you. You can share with your friends um, in the world. Everything about this is upgraded from the first version. The cameras are a lot better, so the images and videos that you capture are a lot clearer. Um, the audio is a lot better, so when you're listening to music or podcasts or taking calls, um, that's a lot better. Um, they're lighter, they're more comfortable, and there are a lot more styles, too. But the most interesting thing about this isn't any of those specs. It's that these are the first smart glasses that are built and shipping with Meta AI in them. So starting in the US, you're gonna get this state-of-the-art AI that you can interact with hands-free wherever you go. So, you know, let's say you're grilling with your family and you wanna know how long you need to be cooking that chicken for. You know, or you're playing pickleball and hits the line and you wanna know if that's a fault. She disagrees, but you know the truth. <laughs> or let's say you just wanna settle a debate, you know, some trivia as you're going out through the world. Just ask your medic your Ray-Ban Meta glasses and they'll respond and, and, and get you with the answer. You are going to be able to live stream to your friends and followers from your glasses. All right, these Ray-Ban Meta smart glasses, we're launching them on October 17th, uh, starting at 299, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what you all think of them. As always, it is an honor to be on this journey building this with you. Thank you all for coming out to connect. And now I'm gonna hand it over to our Chief Technology Officer, Boz. Thank you.